Welcome to Mixed Staffing and Recruiting, a certified woman-owned business since 2012. My name is Sarah Knuster, president of Mixed Staffing, and I'd like to formally welcome you to the Mixed Staffing and Recruiting family. We want to thank you for being here today and welcome you to our team. We know that our success is contingent upon the dedication of our employees. As a new member of our team, we count on you to use your talents to improve the work environment and our quality of service every day. While you sit here today, we ask that you find us on social media. You can Google Mixed Staffing and Recruiting to find us on Facebook, Twitter, Google, and Instagram. Interact with us. You can say something like hashtag Mixed Staffing Got Me a Job, hashtag Mixed Staffing Rocks, and share with your friends about why they too should come to Mixed Staffing and Recruiting. Let's get social. Hey there, pals. I'm Kevin Willis, the business development representative for Mixed Staffing. I enjoy skiing, coffee, running, and long walks with my dog. Our mission at Mixed Staffing is to excel daily, inspire and motivate individuals by educating and empowering people through connections and employment. Our values are to be passionate, show integrity, be inquisitive, collaborate, be unique and accountable, and to demonstrate empathy. We focus on people and quality. We recruit, we screen, and we hire only the best. That's right, only the best. During this video, we're going to cover a lot of exciting things that we hope will help you grow as a professional. Please do your best to listen along, take the test while you watch, and be prepared for the Q&A at the end. Thanks, pals. Welcome again to Mixed Staffing. I'm Courtney, and if you see me around the office, you'll know it's me since I'm the one with the big hair. My favorite things are snacks, naps, and helping people. Anywho, I want to talk to you today about a few things. Although you are working for a separate company, you will be an employee and a valued asset to us here at Mixed Staffing. This means that you'll be considered an at-will employee, which in the state of Michigan means that you can leave at any time, we can terminate your contract at any time, or the hiring company can terminate your contract at any time. However, our goal is to get you hired in directly to the company that you'll be working at, so you can soak up the benefits of being a long-term employee, such as health benefits, 401k, pay raises, tuition reimbursement, and more. Let's start off our policies with rules of conduct. First things first, property and building access. You are only allowed on the company property during your scheduled shifts. We ask that you only use the designated employee entrances and do not allow others who you do not know into the building, no matter how nice they may seem. If you have not gotten prior approval to let someone inside, don't let them in. This is to ensure that you are kept safe. A question often asked is, Courtney, is it okay if someone brings my lunch to me? My answer, of course. Just make sure that your supervisor is aware. At any time, if you see suspicious behavior in or outside of the building, or if you feel like your safety is in question, please call 911 and or contact your supervisor immediately. Zero tolerance policy. We have a zero tolerance policy for the following. Falsification of documents. Please make sure that everything you give us is 100% honest and true. Weapons. Keep weapons such as guns, knives, and etc. away from the building. Theft. Make sure you only take or use what is yours. Drugs and alcohol. It's okay to have a beer with your dinner, but don't come to work under the influence. And any sort of harassment or violence, and that includes physical, verbal, and sexual harassment. Pretty simple stuff, right? Just go to work on time, give it 100%, and be nice to others. You'll be that much closer to being hired in. Hey everyone, I'm Rolando. I'm also a recruiter here at Mixed Staffing and Recruiting, and look forward to having you a part of the team. We're going to go over a couple points on confidentiality, so prepare to listen. In your new position, you may be exposed to confidential information like projects, sales reports, and financial information. Due to this, do not disclose any confidential information to a third party or a competitor, and do not take any pictures or videos. We wouldn't want you putting yourself out of a job. Now, upon termination, please return key cards, badges, or any items given to you by your employer. If any company property is not returned, we are authorized to hold your last check, direct deposit, and or deduct the cost of the property you have until it is returned. So please, make sure you return everything given to you to avoid any issues. Hey there, me again, Kevin. I am going to cover our do not return policy with you. During your first 90 days and while you are working for mixed staffing, we're looking for you to show us and the hiring company your best self so we can get you hired in ASAP. You might ask, what do I need to do in order to get hired in? 
Well, I've got some good advice and input. During your initial 90 days, management, supervisors, foremen, and coordinators at the hiring company will be evaluating your progress, attitude, attendance, and ability to grow within the company. They want you to succeed as much as we do. According to our do not return policy, there are a few things that will allow you not to continue working with the hiring company and mixed staffing. Those reasons include violating any of the rules of conduct, such as failing a drug or alcohol test, lying on your application, or being violent on the job. Attendance violations. Make sure you review and talk with your recruiter about the specific attendance policy. Unsatisfactory performance, including job performance, insubordination, refusal to perform duties, failure to report an accident, or a poor attitude will subject you to termination. Hey, my name's Nikki. You know, the girl at the front. I'm the sweetest person ever, but if you no-call no-show to your first day of work, you will feel my wrath. That being said, let's talk about our attendance policy. So hear me out. Although we don't recommend calling in your first 90 days of employment, we are human and do understand that things come up. Employees must call in with any absence or tardiness. You might be wondering, well, Nikki, who do I call? Good question. Please make sure you call both mixed staffing and your supervisor. Take a second to locate our calling card. Got it? Great. Do me a favor, put that in your wallet and store our office number as well as your recruiter's text number. If you are calling in due to being sick, we ask that you provide a doctor's note. Two days of unexcused absence could lead to termination. We require you give us a minimum of two hours notice if you are going to be late or calling off for your shift. Again, we need you at work and on time. We know things come up and we want to work with you. So please just do your best to communicate with your recruiter and we will do all we can. And now, Emma is going to start the safety discussion. Woohoo! Hi guys, my name is Emma Kate and I've been blessed with covering the exciting discussion about safety. Woohoo! So much fun. Here we go. Mixed Staffing seeks to partner with organizations that provide a work environment free from violence or threats of violence against individuals, groups, or employees, or threats against employee property. At Mixed Staffing, we have a zero tolerance policy for workplace violence. If you witness any suspicious behavior, make sure you report right away to your supervisor. This brings us to our social media policy. At no time is an employee to report a concern about violence, threats, or a dangerous situation on social media. Not only is this an ineffective way to report, but it could potentially tarnish the reputation of mixed staffing and the company. Please post only appropriate and respectful content. Here is a perfect time to make sure you like us on Facebook. Also leave us a review. Thanks! Hey, hey, hey. It's your good friend Adam Everhart. How the heck are you? As for me, I'm doing great. I love hot sauce. I love ice hockey. I know those are pretty conflicting things, but everything's going to be okay. You might see my face around here, and if you do, don't be afraid to say hi. I might come off as a little bit shy, but I'm probably just laser focused, like a freaking laser beam. But my heart, it's as big as the ocean. All right, folks, let's talk safety. I know, I know, we already talked about workplace safety, but now it's time to go over employee safety, which is very important to us here at Mixed Staffing. We just want to ensure that you're working in a safe and protected environment. At any time, if you feel that you're not working in a safe environment, please report it to us right away. As for personal protective equipment, also known as PPE, this includes items such as earplugs, eye protection, hard hats, steel-toed boots, gloves, or any sort of special suit. Please touch base with your recruiter and refer to your flyer to see if you have any specific PPE that you need to wear while at work. Bloodborne contamination? If you happen to be bleeding while at work, please step away from your line. Try to stop the bleeding if you can. Stay where you are and yell for help so they can come to you and cover the wound. Notify your foreman or supervisor and make sure to give us a call so that we're able to get you any medical attention that you need. How many of you guys know about Lockout Tagout? Well, here's a quick rundown. 
Lockout tagout is a procedure that ensures a machine is shut down and cannot start back up. All persons who are assigned to engage equipment or machinery must successfully complete lockout tagout training. Let's talk about equipment awareness. We define a confined space as a space that is just large enough to enter, as it typically has a restricted entry or exit, and is certainly not designed for continuous occupancy. Best not to play hide-and-seek in these spots. Only trained and authorized personnel may enter a confined space. As for electrical equipment, only trained and authorized personnel may work on specific electrical equipment. Same goes with chemicals, too. Please don't work with any chemicals or machinery that you have not been trained on. Here's one more quick little tidbit on safety. Please do not push or pull items over 50 pounds by yourself. If you are ever asked to do this, please report to mixed staffing right away. If lifting something over 50 pounds, please ask for help from a coworker. You might be asking yourself, how do I lift something if it's under 50 pounds? And that's a great question. Just be sure to bend at the knees, lift with your legs, and not with your back. Also, try not to get in any Strongest Man or Strongest Woman competitions. Hi guys, it's Sarah again. I want to talk to you about our injury reporting policy. If you open your take-home folder, you should find a neon piece of paper that says Mixed Staffing Temporary Employee Injury Protocol. Please take a moment to read through this and listen closely to our policy. In the event that you are injured on the job, we want to be sure that you're taken care of. That being said, we need you to report immediately. You might ask, well, who do I report to? That's a great question. Report to your supervisor and to your recruiter at Mixed Staffing right away. Failure to report an incident or an injury could result in disciplinary action and or termination. If you need to seek medical care, mixed staffing will arrange for transportation to our preferred medical center, which is Med 1. After seeking medical attention, please make sure to stop by our office and talk to your recruiter, as well as complete our injury report. Our goal is to get you to be 100% so you can return to work. We also want to make sure that you're working in a safe environment. So at any time you feel that you are not working in a safe environment, please make sure to communicate with mixed staffing and or ask for me. Hey guys, it's Rolando here again. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about accident, injury, or damaged property liability. As a reminder, we have a zero tolerance policy for alcohol and drugs. If you are in an accident, are injured or damaged property while on the job, you will report immediately to your supervisor and contact mixed staffing. Transportation will be provided for you to either med one or mixed staffing. When you arrive, you will complete a five panel drug and alcohol test. And if you refuse to take it, unfortunately, that will mean you've voluntarily resigned. So let's go ahead and follow the rules. If not, you will be held financially responsible for any damages that your actions may have caused. This could also include 50% of your wages that could be garnished to cover damages. So don't be a fool and follow the rules. Thanks. By signing our consent to release policy, you are stating that we are able to take the information you've given us and provide that to the hiring company. For example, once we receive your drug test and background check results, we will disclose those findings to the hiring manager. We do run state and national backgrounds depending on the requirements of the company, so please remember the more information that we know, the better. We don't want anything getting in the way of you being hired in. Now, let's take a photo. Say cheese! The photography consent form gives us permission to take a picture of you for our records. For safety purposes, we do provide this photo to our clients and upload it on your employee profile. If you would like us to use this photo for a Facebook shout out, just let us know. We love to photograph the success of our placements on social media. By the way, have you liked our Facebook page? Did you write us a review? If not, go ahead and do that now. Remember, at Mixed Staffing and Recruiting and use the hashtags I got a job, hashtag mixed staffing is great, hashtag Courtney is the best recruiter ever. Just kidding. Pre-employment testing agreement. If within your first 30 days of employment, you quit, stop showing up, or get fired, then mixed staffing can deduct the cost of drug testing, onboarding, and background checks, which this could cost up to $60. But remember to talk to us. We know that things happen, and if there's anything we can do to get this waived, we want to help you. If you're laid off or fired through no fault of your own, there will not be any cost to you as an employee. A few other things. Communication. 
It is important to us as a company that you communicate with us about your job, if you like it or if you don't. We work with several employers in the area, so if you don't like your job, let us know so we can help you find something better. Look at the person next to you and say, I'm going to communicate with Mick Stafford. That reminds me, did you store your recruiter's number in your phone? How about the office number or the company's call in number? Take a second to make sure that you have that. You might be wondering, is this just a temporary job? Is this something that I can get hired into and find my retirement there? Yeah, you definitely can. Do me a favor and locate the sheet of paper that says 10 tips to get hired in. The tips that we have are for one, know that you're not just a temporary employee. You're a member of the mixed staffing team and the hiring company. Our goal is to get you hired in. Now, repeat after me. Our goal is to get you hired in directly to the company with a raise and full benefits. A few housekeeping items. Payroll day is every other Friday. If you're missing hours or are having issues with payroll, contact Nikki or Sarah. The first two weeks, we always suggest you track your hours. Just in case something gets missed, you can have proof of that. We don't want you to do drugs or drink on the job. And if you fail a drug test, you're not able to continue working. If you lie on your application or your background, your employment could be terminated or even delayed. And lastly, if you're having issues with your job or a coworker, talk to your supervisor, your recruiter, or the HR team. We all want to help. Hi there, it's Cherie from Mixed Staffing. Thanks for joining us today for orientation. While working with our clients, we help you understand the importance of representing yourself and mixed staffing in a positive way. We hired you because we believe in you, so believe in yourself and make a difference in Michigan. Remember to stay in touch, like us on Facebook. We wish you the very best of luck on your first day. Bye. Good luck. Knock them dead. Have a great first day. You guys are going to do great. Have fun. We're so happy for you.